Letting go. Those two words seem simple, yet they carry such a heavy weight, don't they? We live in a world that celebrates connection and relationships, but we are rarely taught how to release someone when the time has come. Today, let's talk about something that may feel difficult yet can transform our lives, how to emotionally detach from someone. Detachment isn't about cutting off or ignoring someone, it's about freeing ourselves from the chains that tie our hearts in knots, allowing us to experience love without possession, presence without expectation. Emotional detachment is a gentle act of letting go, and it doesn't mean we stop caring. Instead, it means we find peace by giving space. When I first became a monk, I struggled with this. I thought detachment was unkind, perhaps even cold. There was someone very dear to me, and I didn't want to let go of that bond. I held tightly, thinking that if I loved them enough, I would never have to release them. But holding on isn't love, it's fear. And fear is a prison. So, I had to learn that detachment is not about abandoning others, it's about freeing ourselves so we can connect from a place of clarity, not need. Let me tell you a story. I knew a young man who came to our monastery, deeply heartbroken over a relationship that had ended. He was angry, sad, and confused. He kept saying, but I love her. How can I let go of her? I could see he was in pain. He wanted to love, yet his love was mixed with longing and attachment. I told him, love is like the open sky. It doesn't cling, it doesn't grasp. It gives freedom. This struck him deeply. Over time, we practiced together. We would sit, meditate, and I would guide him in breathing through his pain, letting it rise and fall like waves. I reminded him that to detach doesn't mean we no longer care. It means we no longer control. We find peace by letting others follow their path while we follow ours. So how do we emotionally detach from someone? First, understand that detachment is a process. It starts with acceptance, accepting that some people enter our lives to teach us, to grow with us, and sometimes, to part with us. We must embrace the impermanence of life, knowing that every bond and connection is a gift, not a guarantee. When we accept this, we let go of the fear of losing and gain the freedom to live fully. Next, we must learn to observe our emotions rather than become entangled in them. Imagine a boat on a river. If you are in the water, the currents toss you around. But if you sit in the boat, you can observe the flow without being carried away. Likewise, observe your emotions without judgment, without reacting. Meditation can be incredibly helpful here. Each time a thought of that person arises, observe it, then let it go, like leaves floating downstream. Detachment also involves creating space, not just physical space, but emotional space within ourselves. This doesn't mean we reject or avoid others, but we become intentional about who and what we allow to occupy our thoughts and feelings. Take time to cultivate your own happiness. When you find fulfillment within, you will see that you need less from others. Instead of holding on tightly, you can give freely, knowing that your peace comes from within, not from someone else. Many people think they will only be happy when they are with someone, or when they receive love in return. But when we depend on others for happiness, we give them control over our peace. True happiness, true freedom, is when we can love without needing anything in return. And that is what detachment is all about. Finally, learn to forgive. Let go of any blame, of any, should-haves, or, could-haves. Forgiveness is not for them, it is for you. It is the act of freeing yourself from resentment. Of releasing the weight you carry. This does not mean we condone others' actions, but we decide to carry peace in our hearts instead of bitterness. When you forgive, you release yourself from the emotional ties that bind you. Remember, detachment is not about abandoning love. It's about letting love exist without chains, without demands, without conditions. It's the freedom to love purely, to appreciate what was shared, and to let go when it's time. Detachment can feel like emptiness at first, but soon it becomes spaciousness, a place where you can breathe, live, and love without holding on. If you are watching this because you are trying to let go of someone, be gentle with yourself. Take it step by step, day by day. Reflect on what you need to feel whole again, to feel at peace. Detachment does not happen overnight, but as you practice, you will find your heart softening, your thoughts quieting. And one day, you will realize that you can think of this person with a sense of peace, not longing. That is when you know you have truly detached. I leave you with this thought. True love is a gift we give freely.
When we detach, we allow love to be what it is, a pure expression, untouched by fear or expectation. May this practice help you find peace within and the strength to love without holding on. Thank you for joining me today. If this message resonates with you, know that you are not alone on this journey. Each step you take toward detachment is a step closer to inner peace. May you walk this path with awareness, and may you find the freedom and love you seek within yourself. Has this message helped you on your journey of letting go? Share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our community for more lessons in mindfulness and peace.